Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to do a video on uh, equal block division in the QGIS. Uh, you can for that I have prepared a little bit uh, text over here. You can see it here. Uh, this is the text uh, that we need uh, during the video, and it is about the plugins details that we are using in this video. You can see. We are using spreadsheet layer, 2.21 layer, calculate geometry and the polygon divider. It helps to take our excel file in the data and it helps to create the lines or the polygon and it helps to calculate the area. Polygon divides, uh, polygon divider divides the polygon into uh, different units according to the criteria we provided and this is the uh, area calculation procedure for a hector or the meter square dealing it with for that simply i am closing it now and moving to the arcgis interface and i will show you the managing the plugins details here you can simply go to manage and install plugins by going to the plugin tabs and here you can see it here it will take little bit time and we have to check all these this uh, and reload the repository and after that you can close it after it is finished uh, for that after that I will show you uh, the dealing with, with the installation of the plugins over here and for the as we need at the first uh, spreadsheet layer as I have already show you uh, we have to type its name over search here and you can simply go through this and if you haven't installed it will appear like this then you have to check this and go to here it will show a here tab called install plugin so go to that and click it and after clicking it will install and for other plugins too you have to do the same things so for now I am closing it and adding my data over here you can simply see it here I am browsing to my working folder and providing the necessary path over here in assigning the coordinate system and it plays a very important role over here and after simply doing this you can click ok and now you have to uh, we can save a file as point file so it doesn't uh, create change in our original file so for that I have saved it uh, as point file you can simply see it and after this you can check this and we have to check this layer and you can simply go with this and we can see it we have done our saving work and now I am removing it and you can go to properties of this layer and change the size of your size and color of your uh, points you can see it and you can I am going to little bit doing smaller and I am going to label the text according to its yashin and I am going to change its size to simply and clicking apply and you can see this is the size and we have developed and now we have to do a point to one to create a polygon file from it so I am going to this you can check it here create polygon is we are creating polygon or the create line we have to do like this and we have to sort according to the this and you can simply click ok sorry I haven't save my output file so I am saving it as polygon 
and simply here we are going to edit and now you can see it in the background we have appeared like this and I am changing it to color over here and I don't like it and you can see it here I am changing this color is brighter one so that we can distinguish it very easily now after this we have to calculate the area of this polygon so for that you can simply go to open attribute table you can and change it as first of all start edit here you can do it and now you can delete this as like this remax you can delete the remax field over here and you can add a add a new field is area you can simply do it this like this and you can provide a decimal number you can simply see it here and you can simply click ok now after this you can save your edit here you can save your edit go to polygon and calculate geometry you can calculate your area in hectare <laughs> you have to provide this property area and you can simply provide the coordinate not we doesn't need it as we have done this coordinate system over here you can simply see it here and open attribute table over here you can see it we have area of 300.22945 uh, hectare here so for that now we have to divide it into equal parts so I am showing you the we are going to calculate the, it into the different eight polygons so we have to do this and you can see it here And here you have to open your attribute first of all for that you can simply go to open attribute and you can see your area over here I am going to minimize it it's a layer and you can see it. and the, you can type your area detail over here 945 and you can simply divide it into the area where you want in how many block you want to divide the area you have to divide by that number and I am dividing it you can simply see it. its area is 37 point 5226825 and for that I will show you another text file you can see it here as I have already told you uh, is we have to calculating calculating or dealing uh, with the meter square in the uh, our polygon divider so we have to multiply it by 10,000 here is a uh, one hectare equal to 10,000 meter square and we have 300 meter square hectare area and we have divided it into eight parts and one parts equal to this so we have to multiply this by 10,000 here and simply multiply it by 10,000 here and after this you can simply see and this is the value we have to put in the polygon divider and I am checking this and opening this here and this is the have created over here and I am cancelling this layer over here simply we don't need this detail over here now we have to go to polygon divider and we have to install poly plugins for that and as I have already mentioned about how to install the polygon divider it will appear in the interface here anywhere here like this so go to polygon divider here 
here again and you can provide a new path over here new name and you can see it here and changing is uh, divide did fully you can simple save it as it and you can see here and we can see we have divided into the eight part here one two three four five six seven eight over here now we have to do here after this we have to manage the uh, color pattern of this here simply i am going to retain the original one you can simply see it here you can simply fill it and go to outline marker and you can see we have this polygon uh, color here and now after this now uh, you can create a, a polygon of every separated polygon over here or the block over here so we have to provide the path according to the attribute i am going to show you over here and you can see it in the open attribute table here you can see we have converted the it into eight different polygon having equal area you can see it here it is in meter square and if you want to change it you can simply change it in the hector too and you can take this polygon id as well to divide it you can simply take a polygon id to divide it so for that we have to go to vector layer and we can unique area field as polygon id it is that divided it into the eight different part and we can take it as the eight different block here and you can simply go to your working folder and simply after that you can select your working folder and it will appear the output there and you can simply click run over here and you can simply save our changes that we have done and after this I am going to crushing it and opening my vector layer you can see the shape file by going to this like this and you can simply click all this like this and you can open it in ArcGIS you can see we have divided it into different 8 polygon over here into equal block division and now we can label it by its area too we can make it hollow as I have already told you before to go to property and you can label it according to your voice and I am not going to make it dealing with label but I am going to make all my polygons hollow here so I am going to apply it like this and going to do all the polygon in the same way you can see it here I am going to fill it with simple outline apply apply I am showing here equal block division so I am not uh, making any change or create any difference between the uh, divided polygon so I am doing that and I am doing similar for all the other polygon too 
you can see it here oh we have make it hollow here and now after this you can zoom in earlier and for now i am going to show you the attribute table over divided polygon at last you can see it have our necessary part and you can delete you can simply go to edit and you can delete the unnecessary field over here you can see it uh, we can delete uh, yashin area unique id area uh, not area this point and this point is it and we can simply do this by this we can delete this we can delete this and we can simply keep the only necessary field over here and we can do and i have done this for all this layer so i am not showing anymore for a other layer so after this we can save a edit and now you can cancel here make your change save so that you can use later on to uh, by using the different shape file so for now i am gonna end my video here thank you keep watching and next video i will uh, dealing with the map layout in the qgis thank you